All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson 17. And in this lesson, students are going to be drawing symmetric figures. And they're going to be using the idea of distance and angle in order to uh, create objects that are symmetrical. So let's get started. So the idea is we're supposed to draw in order to create a figure that is symmetric about LM. So here's our line LM, and so what we want to see here, we want to see exactly reflected on the other side as if we're folding a piece of paper in half, right? And so the idea is what we're going to do is we're going to measure with a straight edge, and we want to do it perpendicular from each point to the line. So I'm going to hand draw that, and that looks pretty perpendicular, looks pretty good. And then I'm going to do the next one over here, and let's do that in red. And so from the point to the line, and I want to try and make it nice and thick and be as perfectly perpendicular as I can. And last one, let's do that over here, and oh, let's do it in purple. And there is our line perfectly dropped to the line of reflection that right there okay so I've got these three lines going from the point straight to the line alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each of those and this is a little bit different from Eureka Math but I'm gonna take this and this blue line and I'm just gonna go extend it exactly to the opposite side of the reflection and the same thing with the red. I'm just going to keep going and extend it straight down to the opposite side of the reflection. And here's the purple and the opposite side. So now these lines tell me where the points are going to go. So I can see that a point should go right there because that is where the line ends. Now a point right here, because of course that's where the point, the line ends. And then of course this line means a point needs to go right there. So now if I wanted to, I can get those little lines, those kind of reference lines out of the way, because I don't need them anymore. Now, now what you'll see, I'll get those out of the way, is now what you'll see is three points that are left over that if we connect them, we should have a symmetrical figure. Boom, 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 and boom. And there, now you can see that we have a figure that is perfectly mirrored across the line LM, and you can see we have a symmetrical figure. Now this problem, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. It took me a little while to understand it. So basically, I'm gonna walk you through the process. So step one, or step A, I suppose it says, is plot three non-collinear points. So basically, they want us to create three three dots that don't form a straight line. So there you go. And then it says connect the dots, makes a triangle, and now. It says plot point J and draw the remaining sides such that the quadrilateral JHIJ is symmetric about IG. So here's our IG. And so that's this line right here. So I'm going to boom. So now they're saying plot a J over on this side so that we get a quadrilateral that is symmetric to this line, and, um, and so that really means G and I are on the line, so really it's only H that we have to really kind of like pay attention to. So it's H that is going to be reflected on the other side as point J. So what we're going to do is we're going to take H and we are going to draw a perpendicular line the best I can from H straight to the line. All right, there it is. And now I'm going to take that and I'm going to duplicate it. And then if I go right here, 
And notice, this is supposed to be perpendicular to IG. All right. Now that's going to tell me where our point is supposed to go. So our point is supposed to go boom right there. So now, if I get rid of these reference lines, because I don't need them anymore, that now tells me where I'm supposed to draw. Right here and right here. And you can see that we have a quadrilateral that is symmetric. And that's the whole point of that one. That was a little tricky. It took me a while to read the directions. The math itself wasn't hard. It just took me forever to understand what C meant. And that wraps up 5th grade, Module 6, Lesson 17. We're talking about symmetric figures, and we're creating them by paying attention to distance and angle.